My name is Kain Tan, the Tech Pro, and today we are going to be answering question 3 of our machine learning question and answer. Actually, before now, I actually jumped to question 4 that says differentiate between sensitivity and specificity. So now, what is Bayesian model? And what I want to like you to let you know is sometimes these concepts are really very simple, and the names are just making it appear to be so difficult. So Bayesian model is simply models that use work based on Bayes theorem. And I would also like to remind you to subscribe to my channel because if you subscribe by clicking on the button below, the subscribe button below, it kind of motivates me to keep making this lesson. So I always give this reminder every time. All right. So a Bayesian model is simply a, a model that is based on Bayes theory. So what is a model? A model is simply, let's say, in a simplest term, is a function that relates one variable to another. So let's start by saying that for instance, if you are given a data set, let's say x and y, and you have uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, 6, 8, 10, and you are told to make some signs out of this data set. So what you are going to do is to build a model. So that model is going to help you in such a way that if you have a new item, let's say xi, you'll be able to find the value of y. So Bayesian model is model that helps you to that helps you to make infer inference or prediction, and it works based on Bayes theorem. So a model is simply something like f of x equal to y. Simply, so you just find this function f of x. In regression, the model is simply like beta zero plus beta one x f of x is equal to. So that is this is the case of regression. Regression makes an assumption that this is the relationship that exists between these two variables. Or in high school, we have something like y is equal to mx plus c. So it's the same thing here. We have this correspond to this, and beta 1 correspond to this. So this is a model that is used to make inference based on now if we have a new value of x, we are able to predict or infer the value of y. So make no mistake about it, that's what a model is all about, something that you use to draw inference. So a Bayesian model is a model that is based on Bayes' theorem. And Bayesian model actually uses, try to obtain a posterior distribution based on prior distribution. Now let me simplify this in the, in the, most, uh, in the simplest form. So normally we are trying to let me explain it using sampling now. So we are trying to uh, find out something about a population. Normally we can't find out there is something about a population by measuring everything in that population. So we actually take some samples from this population. Let's call it x1, x2, all the way to xn. We take n samples. So we, if we take this M samples, based on this sample, we now estimate some parameter of this population. So that's, let's call that parameter theta. So now Bayesian model tries to predict theta based on Bayes theorem. So I'm going to state Bayes theorem and I'm going to state the Bayesian model that can be used in this particular case. So this is Bayes theorem is saying, is telling us that P of X given Okay, let me write it the way it is in my website so that you can read it and understand. P of y given x, probability of y given x is equal to probability of x given y times the probability of y divided by the probability of x. So Bayesian model actually is a probabilistic model and this is what Bayes theorem states, okay? So we say that Bayesian model uses try to get the posterior distribution based on prior distribution. So now in Bayesian uh, equation, this is, post, uh, this is called posterior and this is called prior. So Bayesian model tries to use this posterior, uh, this prior, this, uh, this prior here to obtain the posterior. So if we actually write it, we have that P of Y given x is equal to some constant k times p of y. So this is posterior, this is prior, this is 
posterior. So now the value of k can now be equal to p of x y divided by p of x. Now whatever this is uh, is important but not very much important at this in this explanation. So Bayesian, Bayesian theory is trying to use the prior probability or the prior information to find the posterior information. Let's now get back to the problem of this population. We are trying to estimate this parameter. And we have this set of samples we've collected. Now, once we've collected this sample, we can now estimate this parameter using these samples we collected. So posterior means trying to infer something or predict something after you've taken some measurements, right? So you are using a measurement you've taken to try to predict something. If you have not taken a measurement and you are trying to predict, you are actually using a prior. So using something you know without having to take new measurements. So using this measurement we've taken, let's infer uh, the value of this parameter using Bayesian model. So it's going to give us P of probability of this parameter given the data we have, x1, x2, all the way to xn. This is what we are trying to find. We are trying to find the probability of this parameter given this data set. So can we, it will now give us, so simply substitute this using base theorem, you have probability of the data set x1, x2, xn given this okay times the probability of this parameter this now is a prior which you already know divided by in this case now you have probability of the data set you have all right all right so let me take give you some terminology uh, uh some terminologies you need to know so this value is that you have p of x1, x2, xn given. So, more like by when interchanging these uh, items in this place, it's called likelihood. It's a, it's a totally different thing altogether. Likelihood. And p of x1, x2, all the way to xn is called marginal. probability or marginal prior sometimes all right so so this is how Bayesian model works it simply uses Bayesian theory so in this case if you're able to explain this you'll be able to uh, yeah, uh, get this quiz a hundred percent because this is exactly what it is so use basic uh, state the Bayesian theorem and then apply it in making some estimation of an unknown parameter. I'm going to stop here and I'd like to thank you for viewing and also like to remind you to subscribe to my channel.